Hi babes and welcome to my channel. In this video episode I will show you how to achieve this beautiful, beautiful, messy curly look from, uh, you know, this. Hi babes, the super straight hair. Today we've got a new beauty episode on YouTube. We're going to continue the series in English. I'm going to show you how I do my super curly, messy, crazy, voluminous hair using wax hot rollers. by washing your hair. Now I washed my hair last night and I have it almost straight and uh, ready to go. This is my the natural shape of, of my hair. I do not have any, any curls in it so obviously I do like a curly hair and now that my bangs have grown so much and they look just like so right now I can use this thing to create different different looks and just different um, moods for the hair without cutting it anymore. So if your hair is uh, similar to mine, which is a grown um, fringe situation, you'll have like a super straight hair, you'll be able to pull off this look. Of course, if your hair is straight and long, it's going to be a bit more difficult. So I'm going to show you the products I work with and the hot wax rollers I've been talking about. So I have my hot wax rollers heated up right here in my Thermomix. I do like to use the Thermomix for my um, hot rollers as well. I do the same thing in some days of good hair because uh, it has like a quick heating system and then of course it will let you know when um, whatever you're cooking is ready. So today I'm cooking hot wax roller soup. This is how um, a roller would look like. It has two parts. You're going to find the rollers everywhere online. I'm going to try to link it down below for you guys. These are uh, my mom's actually and I think she has had them for, I don't know, many many years, at least, at least 20 years. So we're just going to start prepping the hair and the first product I'm going to use this styling cream. It's a hydrating styling cream from, from Moroccan oil. I got it from Expert Beauty. You can also um, find it online if you will search it. I'm going to link it for you. Um, now this is a super hydrating um, cream. It will just hydrate your hair, add a bit of definition and help the curls form beautifully. Now since I have long hair it is compulsory that I use some kind of hydrating product which is going to help my hair uh, look a bit healthier and fuller and everything in between. I'm just trying to distribute the product all over the hair. The lens, you can start from the base because it's hydrating for blondes. You can always use Moroccan oil products because they're super, super moisturizing and you will just see such a big difference after using them. So we are done with the cream right now, we're going to move to the next step. And this is something I just like to spritz all over the hair and this is a sea salt spray. Ocean spray, 100% vegan, no sulfates, no parabens. So Maria Nila is a Swedish brand, 100% vegan. It has carbon neutral packaging, so whatever we can fight for both beauty and sustainability is just perfect and great. I do love their products. Now this product from Sweden will not contain any kind of sulfates or parabens or stuff like that. This has um, a three point hold and also color guard complex so it's going to also help you with, um, with the color of your hair if you have dyed hair. We're just going to start applying the hot rollers one by one and when you have a fringe it's super important to just start on the right track because this was a look I discovered by mistake. I actually wanted to achieve a totally different look, which is um, a retro look. So just, you know, the beautiful retro ways I usually do um, on my hair. And to achieve that, you just have to place the roller like so, okay? Let's pretend this is the roller, just like so. So when you just release the hair, it will be something like this and you can achieve that beautiful um, retro feel over here on top and the mistake I did 
few months ago when I started doing this hair and everybody started questioning me about it, of course, uh, was to just place the hot roller like so. So this is the way you should place your hot roller in order to get the, the messy bag and um, the side swept look. So we're going to start applying the first one just like so and make sure you touch the root with um, the hot roller because if not the heat will not be distributed um, equally along the way and the ends of the hair are going to be super curly and the root is not going to be able to reach to, uh, to the heat. I have my tangle teaser over here, it's going to help me throughout the process because I always use it on wet or damp hair and we're just going to take one hot roller, place it somewhat like so and then wrap the hair around, careful, get everything in as much as you can, I know it's pretty difficult with a shorter fringe but Trust me, it is worth it. And we're just going to continue along with medium strands of hair. The curlier you want it, the smaller and thinner the strands of hair have to be. One by one, and what I'm going to do is just place every one, every, each and one of them, just like so, like I showed you with the first one, okay? You're going to find, again, these hot rollers everywhere so don't be worried they're so vintage you're going to find them everywhere now the next one i'm just placing it reversed so i can get a volume over here like so and we're going to continue the same way here we go with the next strand just lock it down and you will be ready so it's been about an hour now the hot rollers had a time to cool down and keep the shape and now we're just going to take them off and try to style the look. We're going to start down here. I'm going to show you two super interesting products which I use for volume without teasing, which is the best kind of volume. Now, as you can see, an hour or so does a lot of things when you talk about hot rollers and you need almost like no time and I think you can always just keep them on for like half an hour or so this is the way uh, Gabby Sweet Paprika did so um, but you know her hair is is really curly so it's something different but I used to see her all the time I mean all the time, literally all the time with these kind of wax hot rollers she was just boiling them in a pot and then just getting them, getting them on and she was always ready, like always ready and so fast and meanwhile she was doing a whole other bunch of things on the laptop like emails and stuff and I was like hmm this is a very good thing to do you know have your hair ready in this amount of time so here we go pigtails look um, we're going to uh, use a tangle teaser or any kind of brush you have to uh, just break the curls and get the look. Just to start working out those curls, baby. As I told you before, the only thing you have to do before going to sleep is try to get them in a similar shape, maybe just two like this, a bit of bobby pin pinned up, and of course the bangs slash the fringe, however you want to call it, same thing, you just have to pin them up in order to um, preserve the shape for the tomorrow morning. We are just going to start brushing the hair and always, always starting with the ends first, then the roots, there it goes, and we are just going to you know, brush them a little bit and let them get into shape because it's so easy to manage hair when you know how to just, you know, brush it and just let it be and don't use a comb, whatever you do, don't, don't use a comb. This is the kind of fringe situation we've got going over here, so this vintage inspired look and you can just, you know, brush it a bit outwards if you want that newscast presenter in the 70s kind of look and you can just split the bangs let them just mess up the way they want it because you know if you place the hot rollers correctly you're just going to get something 
like this. So something super messy and it doesn't really matter what you do with it. It's going to look pretty good. Hopefully I will be able to see the look go a bit messier for tomorrow because I have this super big wool um, blouse slash I think it's a blouse, it's a night blouse really. Something I really like about this look is the fact that if you used to have bangs and now they're longer, it's the perfect way, the perfect compromise, let's say. This is just the perfect way to style the bangs and you, know, you're, you, you don't have to cut them all over again. You just can, you can just go with it. So of course you have multiple choices on this one, but my favorite one is just the way it is. It's called Shea Hair Liquid to Powder Texturizing Finisher. So it will just take you from a spray texture, just like so, to kind of a powdery look. So if your hair is blonde or a little bit more on the dry side, this is more appropriate to go with. It also smells amazing. And the other one is a volume powder from um, L'Oreal Techni Art. It's called Super Dust. It's called Super Dust. It's just going to help your hair achieve a super messy look with all the teasing you're going to get a lot of volume as you can see we have a lot of volume from the texture already but I'm going to use this one today simply for the fact that I can take this one with me um, on the plate to Paris because it's only like uh, 7 grams and here we've got 150 millimeters so I'm just going to lightly spray from appropriate distance on the hair and you will see how when you just mess it up, you can actually feel and see the kind of mattifying texture in the hair. But look at all this volume we've achieved with just hot rollers and you know a few products. It's not compulsory to use the same products I use, it's just something I recommend. These are the products I trust for this look, but you can try whatever you want. You can try dry shampoo, you can try any kind of a texturizing spray, I guess, from any brand you like. Um, but this one is my very, very favorite. I'm just going to quickly show you the bottle again. Shake hair from uh, Joyco. Too bad, it's 150 milliliters and I can take it with me on the plane. So, um, this is the final look. It's going to... Um, just settle down for maybe half an hour or so and we are going to see the final results pretty soon. This is very easy to just, you know, play with. Maybe you want to do like a beautiful pin up look for an event and you just need like one or two pins to, to have a beautiful messy look. I mean, with curly hair it's just, I think you, you girls with curly hair are so lucky. Maybe you think girls with straight hair are so lucky because you know, you just blow dry your hair and then it's straight but when you blow dry your hair and you have like this kind of a beautiful texture and you can do just anything with, with it that's lucky, that's what I call lucky so this is how I achieved the look you've been asking me about this is actually um, the texture we had for an up to on the cover of the upcoming October um, Cosmopolitan Romania number I will be there on the cover with uh, 19 um, other women, inspiring women of Cosmopolitan for the 20 years anniversary. Make sure you find the magazines. We are going to have 20 covers for the October Glamour Romania magazine. So let's hope you'll be able to find me um, in email you and stuff. I'm going to be the digital icon um, on the cover. So yeah, I guess I'll see you pretty soon. Hopefully you like this look. I'll link everything you need down below and see you soon. Hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. Have you seen the new video we had posted online on YouTube from Dubai? You must see, it. it's just the most beautiful um, travel inspiring friendship video we did with Carmen in Dubai, Petalin Shikic film. Again, he outdid himself, so this is just so beautiful. I will just post it at the end. That's it for today, see you next time, kisses, thumbs up for the video if you liked it, thumbs down if you don't, just let me know, and uh, make sure to comment and subscribe and see you again with a new video pretty soon.